Welcome back on Inside Tennessee. Three mayoral candidates for the city of Knoxville with us this week. We'll see the other three next week. Susan? Yeah, uh, Marshall, you mentioned the public safety and the building that's been talked about. Where do we go downtown or we go to St. Mary's former building? I know, Eddie, you have proposed a different kind of setup for the public safety buildings, a, a precinct type. Right. Would you explain that? And then I'd like to hear y'all's opinion of that as well. Yeah, for several months, our campaign researched uh, a centralized facility like we are talking about doing now versus a decentralized. And, and we researched precincts all over uh, the country in different areas and very similar size uh, cities that we looked at. And I had an in-depth conversation with Chief Anderson, who did the precinct model in 2004 in Nashville. He's the police chief of Nashville. And Nashville was a much smaller city in 2004, but that's just one example. And uh, putting the precincts, and it's not just brick and mortar, but putting the precincts in the communities where the police officers really take ownership of that community at that point. And it's been important, we've talked about it when I was in the city, we talked about the communities building relationships, the young people building relationships, relationships with the police officers. And now they will be in the communities and they can walk through the communities, they can drive through the communities. There will be a community room in the police precinct and the model that I'm talking about. And it's just a better way of policing and everyone that I have talked to uh, and I've looked at some financial models as well. And it seems to be a complete, uh, a complete system and a new way of policing versus the way that some cities have policed for the past 50 years. How many are you thinking? Well, Nashville has nine or 10. And it, if you look at it, it's really across, the cities are doing it across the, the radius that the city covers. So I think in the city of Knoxville, we would have probably four or five. We would still have an administrative building. headquarters because that's where, but really just the beat officers will be in the precincts and a lot of the other things will so stay. So where would your headquarters for that Well, I think that it could be, be, I mean, I've said that if uh, Tanova was the site, Tanova, we could do it on that site, but the headquarters could be anywhere. I mean, the headquarters really could be having the old safety building re redesigned and redeveloped and keep the headquarters there, or the, the administrative headquarters, but putting the police officers out in the communities where they can police. And Calvin. Um, as we uh, discuss uh, the police headquarters and, and presence uh, you know, in this community, the same conversation and attention should be given to a recruitment, recruitment of police officers uh, that truly represent uh, Knoxville. Uh, if we look at the police department now, it's not reflective truly of Knoxville. Therefore, uh, as again, we're talking about the brick and mortar and uh, you know, where or how we're gonna place police, uh, I truly believe that, especially with community policing, where we have uh, police officers who live in the community, who reflect the community, who are developing those critical relationships so there can be a, a positive exchange uh, b between the police department and the community, that is as necessary. So, so you uh, like that idea. That model is absolutely necessary. And again, the emphasis truly should be representation within the police department that reflects not the community okay Marshall right you know I've been involved in the city for the last eight years and we've had a robust discussion on the new police facility and no one has proposed the precinct model so uh, it doesn't make sense I've talked to a lot of law enforcement and the the main reason is we're for community policing and community policing is about officers in neighborhoods walking riding bicycling through neighborhoods making relationships if you build all these buildings throughout the city, one, they cost a lot of money. And then two, you've got to have staff them. Well, right now we're short staffed. So to me, it doesn't make any sense to uh, spend that kind of money. And you don't alleviate the need for a central facility. You know, you just heard you still have to have a central facility for the evidence and all those functions that a central facility does. So you've increased your cost. Then you're taking police officers off the street to man these different buildings. And so it's, it's really inefficient. And some of the cities that have been uh, cited as good examples, you know, Mobile, Alabama, I don't think, you know, if you look at the crime rates, I don't think we want to go down that path. You know, I think uh, we want one KPD. Uh, the leadership I talked to uh, talk, have talked about that for a long time. So uh, I don't think it, uh, it makes sense. I think we need one state-of-the-art facility. And the other issue is that it, it, Knoxville is not a huge city in terms of square footage. Uh, and so you don't need all these precincts. You know, you can drive from West Hills to Sequoia, or to, from West Hills to Holston Hills. It's not that far. So 
uh, you know, to me it just doesn't make sense financially or in terms of keeping our neighborhood safe. Clearly there's some disagreement there. We're going to revisit uh, that question and uh, Mr. Francis's hand was up so we'll get to him momentarily. <laughs> Got to take you. another quick break right after this. <laughs>